joined here with uh, Owen Jones. Um, you're doing a talk this evening at the Arts Centre called The Politics of Hope. What is The Politics of Hope? Well, the people who defend injustice and unjust status quos, they want us to believe in justice, a bit like the weather. You know, you can complain about it raining, but there's nothing you can do about it. It's just the way the world is. Um, but The Politics of Hope, I think, says otherwise. Because it sounds like, you know, motherhood and apple pie, who doesn't believe in hope? Mm. But for me, what it means is that all the problems and injustices we face are temporary and transient and can be overcome with enough determination, enough resilience, enough courage and enough foresight. And that is the history of all of our societies, that everything we have, all the rights and freedoms we have, weren't given to us as an act of generosity by the powerful. Mm -hmm. It's not like powerful people woke up and thought, oh, feeling generous, I'd give women the vote for a bit of a laugh. You know, people had to organise for all of those rights and freedoms. So for me... You know, it's not a kind of passive, oh, you know, things will get better, hope for the best. It's about recognising that if people organise together with others who, like themselves, face challenges, obstacles, problems, then their power together can overcome the injustices that all of us face to build a society that's not run as a racket for a tiny group, but run in the interests of the majority. If there's one thing you'd like people of Jersey to get from your talk this mm -hmm. evening, um, what would that be? And how do you think we can learn from the lessons of similar movements in the UK? When people become aware of their own power, that, that if they group together with others, that they can, they can change society around them, that's what politics is all about. So for me, I'm going to plead with people <laughs> that they will leave and make almost a, a pledge that they will do something about the problems that people in Jersey and the wider world face. And, you know, in Britain, we've seen lots of campaigns, UK and COP, who campaigned on tax justice, and they've forced uh, a change uh, in the government's approach, whether it be electricians who uh, faced having their terms and conditions and their wages attacked, and they fought back and, and they won. And, and at the moment, we've got junior doctors who have the government on the run. So there's lots of examples of people organising together who can actually force issues on the agenda and actually force the powerful to listen and change society. Um, Owen, can I thank you for coming to Jersey? Um, we face a real uphill struggle here where austerity is biting, in, in some instances actually worse than in the UK, mm -hmm. and our democratic system in particular makes it very difficult to um, inspire people to come out and vote and vote for politicians who will act in their interests. So um, I hope that from your talk this evening, uh, you'll stimulate the discussion and inspire people to want to get involved in organisations, hopefully political parties, so that we can actually look to a future where we see a Jersey which is run in the interests of ordinary working people, run by ordinary working mm -hmm. people, mm -hmm. and not in the interests of a small, rich and powerful minority, which is, seems to be the case things are. So thank you very much for... Amen to that. And all my sports reform Jersey. Thank, thank you. you.